and welcome to Humanism Total Notary channel. Are you having trouble making your display outputting that sweet 144 hertz? Well, then I'll show you what to do. The first you need to think about is that all display cannot output this high refresh rate. This is my gaming monitor. It has 144 hertz or refresh rate. This is a regular just working screen and working screens or regular screens usually has only up to 60 hertz of refresh rate. When you buy a display it usually says what refresh rate it has. Here you can see 144 right there. So check when you buy your display what refresh rate it has. If you do indeed think you should have that high of refresh rate, go to your desktop, right click and click display settings. On display settings, you just scroll down here and select advanced display options. Here at advanced display options, you just scroll down further. And of course, you need to select the screen you want to change the refresh rate of. Display adapter properties is your next. Then you go up to the monitor. And here you can select the refresh rate of your monitor. If a higher refresh rate does not appear, it's probably not possible for your monitor to output that high refresh rate. If we take a little look at my second monitor and we go to display adapter properties and here we are. Monitor and here we can see the refresh rate. We can see we don't have really any options there. Some monitors, however, does have a higher refresh rate when you go and set the resolution at a lower resolution. If you do have this option, you just go down here, go to display adapter properties, monitor and select the refresh rate. And here you can see my screen can now go to 75 Hertz. If this resolution is completely fine to you, there you go. There we can make your refresh rate higher for that monitor too. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you can right click on your desktop and get NVIDIA control panel. And then you'll go to change resolution and under change resolution, select the correct screen here and you can select the refresh rate for your monitor here. So you just change it there to 144 hertz and of course click apply. There you go. The last thing that might hinder you from getting your full FPS is actually what connection you use. Here we have the connections of the motherboard. This is the motherboard's graphics. If you connect it to the motherboard, you won't be using your GPU, which is down here, of course. Here we have our GPU. If we open up the computer, we can quickly see which is our GPU. There we have it. That big thing right there onto the motherboard. Like this thing, of course. That's your GPU. And that is the same unit you want to connect your screens to, otherwise you will not be able to get whatever frame rate you want, because your motherboard will likely not be able to process that. And then we have the next part. This is a DisplayPort connection. DisplayPort connections are to prefer. HDMI, as we can see there beside, is usually also fine but not always, so if you can, always go with DisplayPort. However, here we have a VGA or analog DVI. We have an adapter there. This standard will not be able to output 144 Hertz. You cannot connect the screen using the VGA or many DVI connections and expect to get that high of a frame rate. To get the high frame rates, you need to use a modern standard like HDMI, one of the more modern connections, or best display port like this one. Well, that's a little quick and dirty video, but I hope it explains 
how you will get your 144 Hertz for your display if you have the capability of having that. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for future content. This is Jim Total Nourish channel, signing out.